All right, let's do it. Welcome to the stretch break, everyone. All right, we're gonna go ahead and start with those arms. Reach all the way up, interlock those fingers together at the top, and we're gonna lift up and over. Over, stretching underneath those arms. Arms come backwards. And pull those hands together in the back. As you can tell, I'm feeling quite pink today. <laughs> Good, give it a stretch. Let the chin come down towards the chest. Good, all right, release. All right, we're gonna make our way down to the floor. We're gonna start in a cross-legged position. So we're gonna sit it on the floor. Let's do it and bring it down. All right. So go ahead and find a comfortable position, whichever is the most comfortable for you. We're gonna start with stretching our neck. So you wanna sit up nice and tall. We're gonna bring that left hand over our head. And we're just gonna give that stretch a little bit more oomph. You're gonna take this right hand and you're gonna place it out and away from you. Just the fingertips on the floor. We're gonna hold this stretch very gently. And repeat on the other side, release. Right hand up and over. Left hand comes out, fingertips on the floor. Breathe in. All right, release. All right, side to side. We're gonna turn it over onto our knees. You can also do this not on your knees if you have problems sitting on your knees in a kneeling position. So we're gonna bring it here. And all we're gonna do is bring those hands together behind and pull those arms backwards and down towards the ground. And we're gonna breathe and hold this position. really opening up that chest. Think of squeezing those scapulas together in the back. Good, find a nice comfy position here and release. All right, we're gonna go into a child's pose. So go ahead and rock it back. And we're just gonna hold here for about 20 to 30 seconds. So go ahead and let, you can let your forehead rest on the ground. And I will tell you when to come up, make sure that those hands are in line with your shoulders. And practice your deep breaths, stretching throughout that entire back for about 10 more seconds. If you'd like to take this up a notch, you can bring yourself up onto your knees and then do your down dog position from here. And puppy dog, I always forget what this one is called, but basically the same thing, but your hips are up over your knees. This is gonna increase that stretch a whole bunch. If you have a break behind those shoulder blades, good. And again, if that's a little bit too much stretch here, you're just gonna bring it back down onto those legs. And then from here, we're gonna to start to stretch our shoulders. So we can bring it up onto our knees again, just like before. This time we're gonna send one of our arms out straight. And we are gonna look away from it. So we're gonna have our right arm bent and our left arm's going to go out straight and we're gonna look away giving that shoulder a nice big stretch. And then we're gonna bring it up and we're gonna do the same thing with that right arm is gonna come out from this position. You're gonna bend that 
Left arm down, right arm slides out. And hold here. You might feel like a pretzel and that's okay. Good, and slowly exhale, come on out of that. We're gonna bring it down into, bring those hips forward and bring it down. Just gonna let our hip flexors lengthen and then we're gonna bend our elbows down all the way and then we're gonna press back up straight arms as straight as you can get them and then again bring it down we're gonna bring this down about three times maybe five if you're feeling great Exhale, bring it down. It's almost like a push up. One more time. And up. Keep trying to breathe throughout this stretch here. Good. All right, bring it down and we're gonna roll it over onto our back. And we're going to bring our knees up to our chest and we are just going to roll those knees around. A little bit of a circle. Good. All right, from here, place those toes down on the floor and we're just gonna bring those knees side to side. Up and over. And do this about 10 times. Engaging that core as those legs are coming down and as they're coming back up. Let's do about two more. Take that right leg, we are going to cross it over the left for our figure four stretch. And you can hold this right here. And what you can do is to slide, instead of keeping it out nice and wide where your ankle is over your knee, slide that foot in more so that your knee is almost crossing your other knee. So instead of being here, slide it in a little bit more and then pull it in. You'll feel a little bit more stretch on that outside hip. And then pulling it into you as needed. So find that level of stretch. Good, same thing, other leg. We're gonna take that leg off. Switch, start with just lining your ankle up to your right knee. So left ankle, right knee. Pull that in for a nice wide stretch. And then slide that leg down so that your knees are pretty much stacked on top of each other. And then pull it in again. Both knees into the chest. Give them a little hug. And sit it upright. All right, from here. Oh, my computer froze. Oh, okay. Whew. okay. All right, what we have next is some, what I call either 90-90s or hip swivels, whatever is comfortable. So we're going to start with our hands behind us and our knees are to the ceiling, about hip width apart. And we're just going to bring the knees down and back up. And down to the other side. Try to get both knees 
down to the ground, up and over. Good. Really good for that hip mobility. Good, keep it going. Noticing if you have any tension in any specific parts of those hips, you might feel that little bit of tension as those knees come down towards the outside of your hip or towards the hip flexor as well. Good, all right, from here, we are going to bring those knees together. And what I want you to do is try to get into one of those nice low squat positions. So that is whether those toes and those heels are lifted. And if that's a little bit too much, you're gonna come up to right about here. You wanna practice these low squat positions when you can. You've seen babies are great at it. Toddlers are great at it. They hang out in this position when they're playing. It's a really, technically we're all, all great at it at one point, <laughs> but it gets a lot harder as you lose some flexibility in those hips. So work your way down. The best way to do that is to start upright and start at the knees and hang here. And then work on rocking side to side. So we're also stretching those ankles because a lot of that is also ankle mobility. So pressing it side to side. And if that's a little bit too much, another really great one is just ankle rocking forward and back. So hands down. So we're gonna do this on each side. So right knee is forward. And you're just gonna press it forward and back. Do about five rocks on each foot. It's also really great to help with squats. The goal with these is to make sure that heel stays pressed into the floor. So you wanna feel that stretch through your calf. Let's do two more. Make sure we're still good on time. All right. Good. And then once you get better at those rocks, since you work on lowering it down until you can practice getting down into that nice low yogi squat, which is quite difficult. And then hands down, you want to send those hips up and come on into a nice forward fold here. big exhale you're gonna walk it towards that right foot and then towards that left and then we're gonna drop those hips down again down towards the floor so you're gonna come down to a seated position so work your way down to that nice low yogi squat and then slowly sit it back down and come on into a butterfly position scooch those hips forward And then lean back with those hands interlocked under the feet. And then what I want you to do is rock a little bit to the right side and then rock up and over to the left side and then back to the center. Bring your chin down. I want you to feel that stretch down your neck, down your spine. Good, inhale up, release those feet, send them out in front of you, and then reach for those toes. And hold here. Nice little hamstring stretch. Find that sweet spot of where you feel the tension and a good stretch and hold here and take three deep breaths. Good, slowly roll it up. All the way. Good, turn and look behind you. Turn and look behind you the other way. All right, last one. We are just gonna stretch those wrists real quick. 
if you are a speed typer or someone who ever gets pains in your elbows or in your arms sometimes from typing a lot, you're gonna take those hands, place them down in front of you, and then you're just going to stretch it here. So it's a very gentle stretch because our forearms are obviously very sensitive. And then same thing, forward. You're gonna place those hands down in front of you and you're just going to rock it forward, rock it back. And forward, and back. All right, and that is it for today. Don't forget to get your water in today if you haven't already. And thank you guys so much for joining me and I will see you next time. Bye guys.